hi everyone and uh, welcome to my channel uh, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to transfer or share files between your Mac and your PC over your network now that could be your home network office network or any kind of network as long the Mac and PC they are on the same network and same sub network then you should be able to transfer the files properly uh, I'm gonna start with the PC configuration first and uh, then we'll jump on the Mac uh, so I'll show you on the PC screen how the configuration is done and then I'll show you on the Mac screen how configuration is done uh, in step-by-step -step method uh, and now this could be useful uh, if you don't want to connect a USB stick to your Mac and then transfer the files to your PC that way or vice versa uh, it's just faster and uh, you don't have to spend a lot of time connecting USB sticks and especially if your Mac and PC they are connected to your home network or your office network via LAN then you're gonna get much higher speeds but for today uh, demonstration I'm just gonna show you how to do it over Wi-Fi uh, okay, so without any further ado, let's just jump on the PC screen. I'll then I'll show you the configuration. Okay, guys. Uh, to start with, uh, make a note of IP address of your PC. So type cmd or open the command prompt and type ipconfig. And this is the PC address. And create a Notepad and uh, just copy paste that. Uh, IP address here and second step is open network and sharing settings click on change advanced sharing settings and here under private current profile make sure turn on network discovery is on and this is checked and turn on file and printer sharing is on and allow windows to manage home group connections recommended is selected under the guest and public, just switch it off. Turn off network discovery, turn off file sharing because you don't want to do that. You just want to share it on your uh, private home or office network. And then just click on save changes. Now, second step is to create a folder and uh, this PC and you have to create the folder inside C drive or any other hard drive. Don't create it on the desktop. So I've already created one called Mac share test. So right click on it, share with specific people and just select the username uh, or the user of uh, your computer and click on share and click on done. And now if you go to network here, your PC will appear here, double click on it, and this is the folder Mac share test. And is at the moment it's empty. Another second thing you wanna look at is your firewall setting. Make sure that it's not blocking any traffic from Mac. And uh, in your firewall settings, if you're using third party, like I'm using a Kaspersky internet, and uh, I'll show you the settings on that what I did in order to make it work. So click on settings here and protection, go to firewall, firewall and networks. And here, whatever your wireless network is, make sure it's not public. It's, uh, it's uh, configured as trusted or local network. I've configured it as trusted. So make sure whatever firewall you're using, your Wi-Fi network or your wired network, it's under trusted list. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to access files from your Mac. Okay, guys. So now the third step is uh, to put a text file in that folder uh, uh, to, to share it uh, from Mac. Uh, so this is what I've created and I'm going to put this, save this in the Mac folder I created earlier on, Mac test folder. So click on network and here Mac share test. And uh, I'm gonna call it Mac share test and click on 
save. So now just to double check that file is in there. Okay, Mac share test. Now uh, I'm gonna, after configuring the Mac, I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to access this uh, from the Mac. All right guys, uh, so let's configure the Mac. Uh, go ahead and open system preferences and uh, click on sharing right here and click on file sharing and then click on the uh, public folder you want to share. Uh, so I want to share this public folder and now click on options and uh, make sure uh, share files and folders using SMB is selected. Uh, this is SMB is a, a application layer network protocol uh, and uh, Windows only work with this so just make sure that this is selected. If you want to do some research on this go ahead it's a good thing to do and uh, select the account uh, that that folder belongs to the public folder uh, so after that click on done and uh, close this so now you're sharing the public folder of your Mac uh, open finder and uh, in search bar just put public sorry select Mac and put public and just drag this folder to your desktop. I've already done that. And now I have placed a file uh, inside this folder, which is a Word document, as you can see right here. And uh, I'll show you on the PC screen how to access it from PC. Now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, access the uh, a folder we created earlier on PC uh, so the way to do that is uh, click on finder and uh, click on go and connect to server or you can press command K here and it will open this remember I told you to note the IP address of the PC so here you're gonna put the IP address of the PC so type SMB uh, colon forward slash forward slash and the IP address of the PC and then press connect and here type in the username and password uh, uh, which you use to log on to Windows and uh, remember inside Mac share test folder uh, I placed a, a text file and uh, it's there right there and I can access it 192.168.0.204.pc guys so now after configuring the Mac public folder we're gonna go ahead and access it from PC so open Windows Explorer and uh, just type backslash backslash colon and sorry and the IP address uh, which is right here of the Mac and click on enter now this is the username and password which you use to log on to Mac operating system so use the same okay and click OK and uh, here's my public folder and uh, inside the Dropbox I showed you that I put this Wi-Fi uh, document and uh, obviously now I can access it from PC let's open this and there you go okay guys uh, hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video please click on the like icon and I'll keep making good AV videos thank you bye